Hey guys, so I'm going home for the... What's today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's five days for Easter break. Um, I know, I know, I just got back from break like a week ago, but it's time for another one because it's Grant in his head, so I'm not going to argue about it. I like it. Uh, it means less work for me. Um, which is not entirely true because I'll probably have to do homework and shit over break. But I'd like to believe I have the whole time to relax. I'll probably relax anyway because I procrastinate way too much. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just trying to pack because I'm leaving in about an hour. And I have a shitload of things to pack yet. So, where? I should do this as like a segment in my vlogs. I do this every economics class because it is seriously that boring. Wall Street Journal, again. And this was, I guess, a story about the rains or something. Uh, in Massachusetts. And then I decided to draw a bunch of ninjas. See if you can find them all. <laughs> yeah, I was really bored. Hey, I'm back home now, obviously, because I'm with my puppy. Anyway, so I'm home now. I just got back and it's like, what time is it? Damn it. 9.23 p.m. That's what time it is. So look what's on TV right now. I'm so happy. If you didn't get it, it's Ice Age 2. And this is the show I absolutely hate. This would be 16 and fucking pregnant. I mean... You're 16 years old, you shouldn't be having sex. I, I don't know, just, I, this, whole, this whole show, I mean, not only does it exploit these people, but it's also showing other 16 year olds that it's completely normal for you to have a baby because other people are having babies and they're 16 and having sex. And if you see half the people that are having sex and having babies on the show, You'd be praying for the next generation, and yeah. I mean, the father of this child looks like Jay and Silent Bob. He looks like Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. Let me show you. There you go. There's the winner. What a fucking winner. Maybe after he's done smoking pot, he can... Oh, look. He's done smoking pot, so he can change the baby. Isn't that great? It's great. Hey, guys. Okay, I decided... Now I'm going to have some fun today and do a tutorial makeup thing for how to look really cool in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is blast some really gay ass music. So I've picked this. Um, you're going to want to pin your hair back so you can see your whole slutty face and let's see the first thing we want to do is cover all imperfections you have on your face this includes cigarette burns bruises from your boyfriend this will definitely hide all those drunken scratches that you forgot about having next you're going to want to curl your eyelashes um, all the way up because uh, when you're drunk and going like this, it'll look a lot prettier. Then, next what you want to do is probably um, eyeshadow. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. So what you're going to want to do is use a black shade of eyeshadow. Put a shitload on your brush. Okay. And then just go like this all over your eye. You'll already look like it's smudged, and that way when it gets smudged later that night from crying um, because you just got dumped by your boyfriend, no one will know the difference. This will also make it look like you just got punched in the eye. Next what you want to do, see this blue color? It also goes with the black and blue idea what you want to do here. So just put a shitload of that on somewhere. And make sure you get it right underneath your eye because you don't want to look stupid. There you go. Now you look really fucking scary. 
and that's the idea. Next thing you want to do is get a nice red color for your lips. So you want to just, you know, a lot of it, a lot. Don't be afraid to go outside the line of your lip because that makes it look better. And this will make you look like you're embarrassed to walk out of the house. But you and I know you really have the confidence to pull this shit off, so. I don't know, I think that's, that's about it, I think. Yeah, so this is pretty much the look. Um, this will definitely get you noticed in downtown Scranton. Um, I know it helps out the girls down when I see them out on Thursday nights, so. Hopefully this will help you get guys when you go out to bars. Um, yeah. Especially when you do that. You gotta give them a look like this.